we are going to talk about the idea of permutation and combination. Before we go into the detail of permutation or combination, let's revisit a very important, what we call the counting principle. Now, um, sometimes we connect things with and, sometimes we connect things with or, these two key words, right? It's about how do we connect the different events. Now, to connect events with and, we are talking about independent events. Independent events. Now, what are independent events? Independent events is that one event has no effect on the other. For example, if you roll two dice, right? The result of the first dice has no effect on the result of the second one. So that is what we call independent. So what are dependent? For example, if you talk about um, the number of days in a month, does it depend on the month? Yes, it does. Because if it is like February, then we do not have like 29th or sometimes of 29th. But definitely we do not have the 30th of the 31st of February. But we do have the 31st of January or maybe March. All right. So the number of days in a month depends on the month. But the result of the second die does not depend on the first die. Okay, so that is how independents work. Now, for independent event, we try to connect them with multiplication. We multiply them together. That is for independent event, when they are connected with and. On the other hand, we have the or. Or is for mutually exclusive events. Mutually exclusive Exclusive means that if one happens, the other cannot happen. So two events, if they are mutually exclusive, that it can be only it can only be one of them. It cannot be other, right? If um um someone gave birth to a new baby, then uh is a boy, then it cannot be a girl. If it is a girl, then it cannot be a boy. So the new baby being a boy or a girl, they are mutually exclusive. All right. If one happens, the other cannot happen. All right. So among all the choices, you can only pick one of them. So these are mutually exclusive. Say if you roll a die, all right, the results can be one, can be two, three, four, five, or six. These events, one of them excludes the other five. All right. If you roll a die, the result is a three. It's a three. Then it cannot be one. It cannot be two. It cannot be four. It cannot be five. It cannot be six. So the result of three excludes the other five, all right? So that's what we call mu. Of course, the result of one will exclude the three. So that's how mutual works, all right? So if they are mutually exclusive, we connect them with addition, all right? We connect them with addition. So in a nutshell, in a nutshell if they are independent, then we connect them with n, and the math is to multiply them. If they are mutually exclusive event, we connect them with or, and it is to add them together. So here is an example. If I want to design a signage, I want to design a row sign or something. All right. Now the signage consists of one shape, one alphabet, and a color. All right. So there are three um, parameters in the signage. You have a shape, maybe a circle or a triangle. There is an alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, all right? or a color, maybe it is red, it's pink, it's green, it's orange, whatever. So now you have these to choose from. You have five alphabets to choose from. Five alphabets like A, B, C, D, and E. All right? So you have four shapes to choose from. You have like a circle, like a triangle, like a square, like a diamond, all right? So four shapes to choose from. And then um, you have uh, two shades of red, or I mean three shades of green, all right, and two shades of red. Two shades of red. Say you have uh, a red one, all right, or an orange one. Two shades of red or three shades of green. Three shades of green, all right. Say you have um, this light green, these are dark green, all right? Dark green, or maybe these are yellow green, all right? You have three shades of green, two shades of red, four shapes and five alph alphabets to choose from. So the question is, how many different signs you can make? How many different signs are there, all right? 
So now obviously the number is some kind of um you know arrangement between the numbers two, three, four, and five, right? But how do you combine them? Do you add them together, or do you multiply them together? Now think about that. Think about the mutual exclusiveness. If it is one kind of green, say if this is the, this kind of green, then it cannot be the other colors, right? It cannot be the other shade of green, or it cannot be red. Or on the other hand, if it is uh, this red, right? If it is this red, then it cannot be the other color. So these colors, they mutually exclusive one another. All right. However, if it is red, then it can still be E. It can still be C. It can be uh, circular. It can be square, right? They do not ex the color red does not exclusive any of these alphabets or shape. So they are not mutually exclusive. So only the colors, the two shades of red, the three shades of green, they are mutually exclusive. So we add them together. It is red or green. Am I right? It is red or it is green. All right. And how about the shape? There are four kinds of shape, all right? And uh, they are independent. If I tell you it is a green sign, right? Does you know anything about the shape? Does you know anything about the alphabet? No, you don't know, right? We might have a green square with a number, uh, uh, maybe we have a green square, right? With an alphabet, say, uh, A, all right? So this is one example. We have a green shape. I mean, we have a green color. We have a square shape and an alphabet A. Right, so the color and the shape they are independent. If I tell you it is a square, do you know what the color it is? You don't know. If I tell you it is an alphabet D, so what shape it is? You don't know, all right? Because they are independent. So there are and the different shapes, all right? The shape and also the alphabet they are independent. So independence event with the independent uh, events, they multiply them together. Alphabet, all right. So we have now there are two shades of green. Uh, I mean two shades of red, three shades of green, and uh, four different shapes, five different alphabets. Two and three we add them together because they are mutually exclusive. And then it is multiplied to four. It is independent, and then multiplied to five. Once again, independent. So altogether, the answer is four times five times two plus three, and that goes to one hundred. We have one hundred different signs we can make. All right, it can be a red circle with the alphabet E. It can be a um like a yellow yellowish green triangle, with an alphabet C. Whatever. All right. You have so many ways to make those signs, right? All together, there are 100 of them. So that's how we combine the numbers 2, 3, 4, and 5 in different ways, all right? Sometimes we use addition. Sometimes we use multiplication. Depends on whether it is dependent or in mutually exclusive event, whether we combine them with and or, all right? So that is the counting principle. In the next video, we will tell you what permutation is.